Hey, Chaz, Baz, Plazians. I, I don't know what to call you guys. I'm, I'm going to figure that out soon, though. But we are back with yet another episode of Life is Strange. And here I'm going to check out some uh, text messages I got from the Cloister. She's all like, man, I'm trying to meet you. Calm your pictures down. Anyway, uh, from her private numbers. Uh, you keep your smart mouth shut about everything. Oh, I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey, whore. Feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Well, okay. I mean, I know. I know you sent a private number and everything. And I know you wrote something on my room. So, uh, yeah. Uh, like, you're going down, bro. And mom's all like, aww. She's gushing over her Blackwell hero. Look at me. I'm a hero. Maybe even super with a cape on. All right, let's go find some stuff. So, did we end up looking at everything we need for the SMS from Warren? Let's see. And it looks like we need a sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. Okay. He treated like Warren he was cute. Such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. All right. Well, I guess we should go here for a can. Release the crack can. Oh my God! It would be even better if this was like an octopus cola or something, anyway. or a squid cola, because krakens are giant squids, not octopuses. Only three more. But they're both cephalopods. Go. So, if you're gonna get all like nerd on me, you know. I mean, I had some reasoning behind it, you know? All right, science room or art room? Let's get our art on. Let's be all artistic and all that. This is like a scene in a horror film. Oh yeah, I wonder, I'm gonna check really quick to see if there's any pictures I can take in this area. Cause I took a picture of that, oh crap. I realized I didn't take a picture of um, the statuette that was in Victoria's room. Man, son of a gun. All right. Uh, I don't know where a lot of, I think there's an aquarium in one of these rooms. So I'm going to have to look at that and take a picture of that. But uh, I'm going to see what's in here. Ooh, contest pictures. Let's investigate. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. I mean, everyday heroes. Uh, I mean, this reminds me of a picture um, I saw just on Facebook the other day where people are complaining that uh, Caitlyn Jenner isn't courage, and this is. I mean, they're both courage in my eyes, but I see where people are going with that line of investigation. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I mean, I see a little bit of surprise in his face. Um, it kind of looks like a guy that would be working in IT here in Seattle or, you know, I don't know. And either he smells musky or very funky. I don't know why I equated smell to his look, but uh, reasons. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. I mean, I don't, I don't know what that guy, like who that guy is. I would guess doctor only because of the white coat and the blue pants. And, and he has a very like pensive, you know, stance there. Like he's really thinking about something bad that happened. And maybe he has to tell a family something about their son, daughter, mother, aunt, or whatever. So I actually think like as much as she doesn't like that picture, I think that picture shows a lot of depth and feeling, but maybe not a lot of heroism. So I can see why it wouldn't get picked. Oh, I found some duct mine. tape. So, funny enough, if you don't know, like, home, Max. duct, like, you know, aqua duct and such, it's supposed to be, it's supposed Victoria's to be able to use cigarettes? that because it's very waterproof. I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. But when it comes to the brand, it's called duct tape, like D-U-C-K. And that is where the proprietary eponym comes in and why both are viable reasons to call it that, if you didn't know. Let's drop down some random knowledge. All right, we're in the science room. I think here in the science room is where you're going to find the, um, whatchamacallit, the fishies. So I'm going to try to find that first. And then... 
Oh, hey, in other news, just want to say, look at Pluto. They have Pluto as green because we didn't really know what it looks like, but now we know that it's more, uh, brown-ish, I guess? Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Okay, that's a little selfish, Max. Your subconscious wants you to say no, but pictures. Dang it! You're not supposed to influence my thoughts. Good evening, Fish Fish. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. Although, thinking about it, you couldn't Please actually show number. these pictures to anybody, really. And so, let's see. Let's look at the exam file because Warren needed some help with a thing earlier. An A minus? All right, all right. So, Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Boom, shaka blocker. Warren Graham, all right. Now, what in the heck is sodium chloride or anything? Let's see. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. So, the synthesis is Na, which I actually forget what that is. The C is chloride. The I, I, bleh, I need to learn my chemistry more. Oh, but there's the weed killer. Here's the sodium chloride box. Wait, why is there a cigarette in here? Oh, you can take a photo of this? What? Yo! Yo, wait, hold up. Ho, oh, oh, ho, what? Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get that weed killer. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Like, I wonder if... Left. Like, I feel like if Chloe had this power, she'd be like, you know what, even though my head's hurting, I just pop a Percocet, and then I'll be rewinding again, right? Because, you know, she has that psychic nosebleed that comes with all powers of the mind. I mean, yeah, it's a trope, but it's not a horrible trope. It just, it, you need some user feedback to tell you that these powers come at a price and you should be careful of how you use them. Because if the powers didn't come at a price, then... A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Dang right. Yeah, if you don't let people know, then, um... How are they supposed to know, like, they shouldn't use them so sparingly? But I guess I can be like, oh, hi, I'm going back in time. But, no, don't really have much need to. Maybe Kate started a revolution. Flush the Vortex Club. Kate Marsh Power. Vortex Club. Let's see, what did I say? VRTX Club. Kilt Kate. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I mean, like, clicks... Like, that's the thing, like, clicks never end, like, the popular crowd, usually in most cases, though, in adulthood, the popular crowds aren't as, you know, asinine, but in this case, that popular club is asinine, and, of course, sugar is going to be near where people make their coffee. Wait, did someone just leave coffee out? Man, nobody mm, better drink sugar. that. I probably should find those items now. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. The Zombaban makes me remind me of a Natalie Bedingfield song. All right. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Ooh, literally. Yes, time to blow shit up. So delinquent. If you light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. Jam on it. So fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Um, use my powers of uh, time and space teleportation. All right. 
Now look at me. I have all the stuff for a pipe bomb, but I don't need to use it because I'm inside. Open. She can't cheat with a oh, this bullshit. Fuck you, door. Yeah, no, I, I cheated with my rewind. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Why is that a pejorative? Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Damn Maybe. right, you tell him, Max. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Go on, tell him, go on, tell him. What you gonna do? Go on, tell him, go on, tell him. Wait. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? Man, it's so delinquent. I'm, this is I'm sorry. your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. All right, let's go. I feel like if any of you guys have ever watched, um, oh, what is it? Dragon Ball Z Abridged. One of my favorite parts was in the episode where Gohan, Trunks, and Bulma are exploring where Cell came back from. And then they have that really awesome detective music. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Yeah, whatever. Well, not like it's a 3.7. He shit has a 0. 0.3, right? But he, he looks strung like out I'm as hell. I'm not going to read my own personal file. Let's see what these things say. Student information sheet, Nathan Joshua Prescott. GPA, 3.7. Brief summary. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. That's very producer speaky. Yeah. Let's talk about myself. Student information, Maxine Caulfield, GPA 2.8. Brief summary, Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged that she could be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Huh, <laughs> go figure. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. But this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update, despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty invest investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This oh, yeah. is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. All right. Student information, Victoria Marybeth Chase, GPS 3.9. Brief summary, Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA in extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for a devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell's spirit and history. Yeah, I make my guy I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Yeah, Warren killing it. Student information sheet, Warren Graham, GPA 4.0, gone tell him. Warren is considered an, an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has a gift or a curse of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him for playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues toward his bright future. Ah, oh, gone. Tell him. Gone. Tell him. Only two more files to go. All right. Anything in here? Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. All right. There's not Ooh. much here about the police investigation. Student information sheet. Rachel's Dawn Amber. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. 
Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. In a brief summary, Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is in no doubt that Rachel will achieve all her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. And Principal Wells, oh, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi talking to Principal Wells. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope that one magic clue will once again, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. Ooh, scandalous. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Or for now. Or from now. Ugh. Thanks for all your help, Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay Police Department. All right. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Bad Chloe, like you're a dog. Student information sheet, Chloe Elizabeth Price, GPA 1.7, damn. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students, because she's always given the finger. Did you see that picture she had with Rachel Amber? She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Shame on you. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against non-mandatory institution. Update, Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Oh, gosh. Oh, what did you do? Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. All I always right. wanted to say nab. Oh, yeah. I also believe that we can take a picture of this bronze bird. You're not so tacky up close. But where can we take this picture? It says look. Maybe from here. Oh, it's a bronze hawk, specifically. Oh, uh, let's look at this. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Man, if I hadn't even known about the, the petition, right? Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my sad, unpleasant, regrettable duty to inform you that your petition to block new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. I recognize the controversial nature of these cameras, and rest assured, they will be implemented with the utmost concern for privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will not be too discouraged by the outcome of your petition. We are proud of them. Best, Principal Wells. All right. Oh, maybe we have to turn on a light? Like, I know we can take a picture of you. You're not so tacky up close. Unless we can't. I don't know why we can't. But let's see what the cloister is up to. Oh, hey, a photo Chloe, of cloister. Say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. Oh, so the picture wasn't of the bird. It was of Chloe and Lebad. All right. So I looked at the letter. Let's look at these files. So Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan, Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday night's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Damn. Damn. Laying the hammer down. Bitch, please. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. 
And revenge on Blackwell? Now's your chance to get revenge on Blackwell. Oh yeah, I'm so bummed I don't get to party with the Vortex Club. There's still time. Especially with you around, right? Don't talk, search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning Look from everywhere, us. Max. There has to be some info in the student files. Indeed. Is there anything in these books? Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Thank you for the layout. And nothing here. Okay. Uh, we already Tumble checked these leads. piles. Oh, I guess we didn't. What about here? Look at this pile. Uh, insert expletive here. I certainly can't use this. Oh, hey, it's Kate's file. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And Student information seat. Kate Beverly Marsh. GPA 3.9. Kate Marsh represents the very best of students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged by KBAY7 News and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marshes appears to be appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she is not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne Marie Barinci. Update at present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial radio video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See attached files for complete details. Yeah. We all know that's a bunch of bunch of bullshit. I should go join Chloe now. I'm going to turn this off because... Leave no trace. All right, Closter. What you doing? Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Episode Open 4 the name door. drop. That's it fucked up what does this even mean nathan is truly psychotic i know he has something to do with rachel missing whoa listen to this david m always asks what's going on in my head david m always helps me follow those he follows <sighs> it's pretty cryptic no it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team the super hebros jesus david was stalking kate hassling me and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, uh, we're not what? taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. 
Okay, um, in this case, because it's a big decision, so I'm wondering how it'll affect Max, because I'm wondering if there's any way they could have known that they were caught, right? But, I mean, I really don't want to take the money, but also at the same time, I do want to cover my ass when it came to trying to shoot Frank, so let's take the money. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super, Max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. Again, you guys are 18 years old. How are you going to get into a strip I feel club? Like shit for taking that money. Yeah, I do too. But let's leave the school building. That impish look scares me. Mm -hmm. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? The otters. I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. I mean... Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. So, like, if I had the re rewind powers, I would probably go to a casino and just keep betting on uh, roulette the entire time. Boys or girls? Uh, let's go to the girls' locker room. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Mmm. But then, you can just rewind it back. I can be like, where do you want to go? Boys or girls? Let's try the boys' girls, locker room. Girls, of course. Oh, oops. Girl that's a brain fart on my part y'all hold up boys or girls boys of course figures perv let uh, me check to see if the pool's heated i mean of course you can probably just let's see i can go in here and i wonder what happens if you rewind back Ever close the door? We can open it. Presto! Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. Uh, I guess I should have gone all the way around. Right? I guess it is getting old. I could be like, hey, teleportation! Wait, what? Oh, uh, how'd you get in there? How, how, how you get in there? All this graffiti and stuff, and you know, Victoria loves the, that. Is that is artistic as fuck? Huh. It's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Right. What? What? Da, ba, da, da, da. Oh, who hearts sworn? Oh, wow. I bet you do. Oh, that's harsh. Teenagers are harsh. And those teenagers continue to be harsh if nobody checks them on their shit. 69 reasons to bang Rachel. I see what you did there. Before I talk to her, I'm gonna go to like the other side of lay things and check out the girls all room. I think you can do that by coming over here. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe I just went too far over. Because I guess, you know, how this building is set up, what I just there, that did there didn't make any sense. 
There we go. Boom, shaka blocker. Can I use it? Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. It works, dang it. Wash your hands. Oh, that's harsh. Well, we care, dickhead. Right. Rachel abides. <laughs> I hope so, friend. A sock. Where does that other sock go? I don't know. I wonder. I'm going to check and see if there's any pictures I might be able to take around here. Uh, I don't know. No, it doesn't really look like it, so. Alright. Probably don't need to do very much more exploring. So how about we go see how that pool is doing? Oh. Uh, no she doesn't. That's bullshit, y'all. Victoria, suck a bag of dicks. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Hit the 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 light. I really need to stop like equating everything they say to songs in this game. <laughs> Ooh, I want an oxygen kit. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. There yeah, has to be a control right. panel for the lights around here. Ooh, Halloween pumpkin. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. So menacing. So Ichabod. So crane. Ooh. Oh, what's in here? I was like, let me search it. Yes, we get it. Otters. So I know how hard I gotta work, yeah. That's, I'm gonna flip the flam jam. Okay, wow. Okay. <laughs> and now she's jumping into the pool of the pool. Time to do or dive, Max. Uh. Where'd you keep the money? Probably should go return that. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. No, if I like zombies. Don't you dare. Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga. Bam. I love cannonballs. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Mm -hmm. I wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? That's a good question. You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Yeah. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Oh, no, gross. Why would you say that? You're the bro killer? I don't know what's gonna You're see with that. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and toots. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. We just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. This episode shouldn't have been know. called Chaos Theory. Should have been called Chlorine Theory. Hi. All right. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I hide here. If that we have works. to go now. Oh. That's right. I don't need to hide just yet. Make sure you cover the whole Are you shitting me? Oh, it's step douche. Yes, yeah, step douche. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. Okay. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? I'm hide here. All right. Hopefully this should be good. Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Mm-hmm. I heard something over here. Shaky cam is shaky. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. I think he's gone. Where are you at, Cluster? Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh, shit. He's right there. Visible. Let's bail. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Uh, it's better than nothing. Get in. 
And I mean, if that is step dude, she thinks she he would notice that her car is going. Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. Alright. I think this is a good stopping point for this episode. Oh my gosh.